All right then, let's see what we got here. Looks like some comedian found you decided to dress you in a hoodie. Good lord. What the hell is this? My god, if the hoodie wasn't enough already. I gotta make a note of this. But on the upside, at least we don't need to use any precious nourishments on you. Looks like you're not missing any meals, fatty. What the f did you call me, asshole? Rule 1 has been violated. Interaction with humans is punishable by death. By what? Death. Dory, quick, pass me the youth box. Oh god, no, please, please, I'll leave you alone. I'm a volunteer, see? I'm one of the good guys. If you could just, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. Enough. What's your name? It's David. Well, someone's gonna die today, David, and it ain't gonna be me. Any last words? Lord have mercy, or whatever I did, I I'm sorry. I can give you anything you want. Uh, I can get you food and a place to stay. Just please don't kill me. What place? A uh, place. M my place. It's 32 blocks away and no one would ever know you're there. I can keep you safe. Looks like I have a new guardian now. This one might be a bit dumber than you are, but he's less likely to malfunction. Plus, it's his planet. I mean, it's not much, but it's home. And it's safe, far away from people and forest fires. There's a TV and juice in the fridge, the PS4 if you get bored, and you can stay on the couch. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll take the tree actually, if you don't mind. Sure thing, whatever you need. I'll go fix you a hot chocolate. Say, what's your name again? It's, it's Kevin. <laughs> Son of a gun. It's okay, Kevin. This is Sean. He's my best friend. No, you're my best friend. Don't worry, he's harmless. Probably just as scared of you as you are of him. He won't remember any of this in the morning, I promise you. I'll get you some water. Sup, brother? Taking shelter in a human home, that's smart. I'm doing the exact same thing. You see, the problem of mixing a fuckload of acid with a bottle of Jack is that sometimes you forget where you live, you know what I mean? Dude, uh, he's talking to your poster. That would be the acid. What? Acid. Ah, right, yes, of course. Well, this might be hard for you to understand, but on this planet, some humans take drugs. For fun, mainly, but sometimes it can get messy. Oh, we have the same thing. Eucalyptus. But but it doesn't make you talk to walls and stuff. Can I try some? Sure you can, man. No, Christ, Sean, what is wrong with you? Oh, come on, just a tiny bit. Oh, sh God, I'm an idiot, it's Christmas Day! What's going on? Jesus, I, I invited some friends from the rescue center for Christmas dinner. Oh God, how could I forget? Kevin, I need you to stay here, okay? Just for a while. I'm sorry, okay? Just don't make a sound, please. They'll be gone before you know it. Merry Christmas! Happy holidays! Ugh, what the f*** are you wearing? Guys, this is Sean. He's a little wrapped up in himself at the minute, sure, but he has a good heart. The good Lord spoke with me and told me to guide Sean. Steer his boat through these murky waters to somewhere more clear. I'm doing the big man's work. Well, that's something I can get down with. We look after the sick in my culture too. Actually, in your culture, you like to oppress women and f*** it up. Right because Christianity hasn't been responsible for the death of millions across the world for the last, I don't know, millennia? Oh, please. Ever heard of the Crusades? 
nah, I didn't listen to rock music. Uh, guys, I hate to be that guy, but the energy in this room is killing my vibe. I'm not a hippie. I'm a devoted Buddhist. Born again. Oh, wow. And proudly XKKK. Nice. Yeah, I had a rebirthing ritual thing when I visited India in a lake, and it had uh, lotus flowers and a bunch of naked bodies. What? Oh, no, gross. Uh, that doesn't sound like Buddhism. Are you sure you weren't in a sex cult? Oh, man, you would not understand. You're Muslim. You guys think covering your bodies makes you holy or something? Well, guess what, lady? That's not how spirituality works. And exactly what would you know about spirituality? <laughs> well, let me tell you guys a story of how I became enlightened by Osho. Oh, my God. Like, you don't know him? The enlightened, the ultimate philosopher, the world's greatest guru. You guys are lame. All right. As I said, I went to India. Namaste. Namaste. As part of your initiation, you will have to undergo a rebirthing. Please follow me. Be free. Be free. Why do you come here, my friend? Well, I desire happiness and I heard this was the place to find it. I see that you have been seeking for this so-called happiness all your life. Am I right? Yeah, that's right. Seeking is needed, but then comes a point when seeking has to be abandoned. For when you seek something, you forget to appreciate what is already there. This is a place of love, acceptance, freedom, and sweet, sweet ass entities. Wait, did you say tits and ass? Uh... Cut the bullshit! He was obviously paying their asses! Either that or he drugged them! If I were him, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be seeking anything either. Whoa, what a pervert. That story just pretty much confirmed that you went to a sex cult. Oh yeah, you're just a bunch of uncultured and unawakened losers. How dare you! You guys are idiots! There is no creator, there is no god, only science! We are just a result of evolution, plain and simple, a crossbreed between a pig and a monkey. You guys are clueless, constantly wanting to tear down each other's belief systems. Why are humans so fixated in hate? So sad. Anyway, buckle up kids, because it's my time to tell the story. Want to know how the last dinosaur herd on one planet was wiped out by a bunch of wild prehistoric versions of you humans? All because of believing in something as absurd as what you guys are fighting about. So listen up and take it all in, you dumb fucks. Thousands of years ago, on a planet where dinosaurs co-inhabit with Homo sapiens, these monsters have long been at the top of the food chain. For the dinosaurs, humans were their favorite mealtime. of an ideology started by a dumbass dino pothead. Brothers and sisters, let's end this violence. Last night, a voice from a bushfire spoke to me. It said we should stop eating sapiens and look towards the light. Let us be herbivores and live the life God wanted us to. I beg you. Boy, you twisted? You expect us to eat leaves and shit instead? You mad dog? Uh, yeah, hello. My doctor actually said I got low blood sugar, so I gotta eat humans. It's a genetic thing. And the protein? How do you expect me to get my protein? Ignore me, friends, and I fear the worst for our tribe. What is this tiny-handed weirdo talking about? Hey, Gippy, shut the fuck up.
though? You want us to follow this clown? Silence! Oh dear lord, our savior, protect us! And shit. After crossing the ocean pass, Moses' mission was not done. Forgive me, for I must make haste. I must go and speak with our Almighty. Wait for me, brothers and sisters. Let no humans come to harm. And so, Moses headed off to find and talk with his Creator. He walked for 40 days and 40 nights. Thanks for saving us back there. I got you, bro. God, I gotta confess, I just feel like I have way too much responsibility. They follow me, I'm their leader. They're that dumb that they need me to tell them what to do, how to live. But honestly, I'm a dinosaur too. What if I'm in a weird roundabout way, as dumb as they are? Oh, what is this life? <laughs> it's all chill, bro. <laughs> oh yeah? Jobless. Oh shit! Everybody's waiting for me down there. God, I gotta bounce. But what do I tell them? Tell them to follow these commandments. Thou shalt not question my existence. There will be no evidence I exist. Deal with it. Thou shalt not murder Homo sapiens. Be part of the trend. Be vegan. Oh my god! Am I too tired? I don't understand anything you say. Focus, Moses. Must pretend that I'm listening. Not ahead of three seconds. But if he's God, wouldn't he know that I'm just pretending? Oh, can you hear this? I'm sorry. I'm just super hot right now. Moses, those are my ten commandments. Did you get them? Oh, yeah. God, yes. Right up here. In the old memory bank, you know? All seven commandments. Ten. All ten commandments. It's all good. I've got them inscribed on two stones, just in case. Oh, well, that just makes things a lot easier. You're the best, God. After talking to God, he returned to his dinosaurs. So what he say, son? Give it up already. Tell us, Moses. We're starving for food. I mean answers. Wait, how long was I gone for? 40 days and 40 nights, bruh. Hella time. Holy shit, that was a trip. I think I got way too stoned. Huh? I mean, I had two stones, but for some reason, they're gone. Um, okay. I want you all to cross your hearts and raise your right arms. Repeat after me, okay? Sapiens are friends, not food. Sapiens are friends, not food. F*** off! Relay this message to the sapiens. Tomorrow we celebrate a new era. The Dino Sapiens Friendship Day. So the next day, a great celebration was held to unite the dinos and the sapiens. Welcome, dear friends. Today marks a historical day for both our species. I know our history. We have murdered your family and friends. Heck, we've butchered your children too. Oh, the meat is just so... But we regret that. Deeply. I hope you allow us to make it up to you and become our allies. As a species, we accept your apology. Growing up, I have always feared your kind. I witnessed firsthand how you ate my neighbors, even my grandpa and sister too. I saw that with my own eyes, you savage. But then again, that's in the past. 
Warriors, present the token. As a gesture of our gratitude, we present you this statue. We hope you look upon it and remember us, not for the texture of our skin, but for the contents of our character. So tonight, we drink, we party, and we get married together as one more fight. I'm just like super tired of keeping up with his bullshit, you know? He tells me he loves me, but then he treats me like trash. I'm pretty sure he's a big suit. Oh, totally get that girl. Kill them! Kill them all! Oi, Zoe, oi. How rude. It's been seven hours already, but at least now I know where they are. Uh, what? We are here to deliver a message. I don't remember ordering anything. This is a special type of delivery. It's from our Heavenly Father, our Daddy in Heaven. He loves us very much. I'm sure you can spare 10 minutes of your time today, can't you? Um... Do you know that Jesus has prepared a house of gold for you in Heaven? That's right. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. Please don't make me... Open your heart and let Jesus enter. Open my heart? How about you open your eyes, dipshits? This entity that you call God is nothing more than a fabrication created by our ancestors to make their short-ass, disease-ridden, multi-miscarriage hellhole lives just that bit more tolerable. Oh yeah, great idea. Let's dedicate the entirety of our time and energy, our livelihoods to nothing more than a guest. Seriously? If God exists, why is half the world starving? You fuckers, you, you know what? There's a fly that exists to bury itself into the eyes of children. And the book, it's a collection of stories written by a bunch of stone apes. Do you understand that? We're living a life according to a book written thousands of years ago. Do you understand how stupid the generations so far have been?